I got my first job as a machinist when I was 19 years old. I was lucky enough to start out in the R&D department, writing programs, and doing setups, choosing my own tooling and speeds and feeds, which helped me progress pretty quickly in my career. Fast forward four years, at this point, I was becoming pretty proficient in a lot of different areas. I was putting in a lot of time at home, you know, learning everything I could. And I hadn't received a raise in a little while, so I thought maybe it's time to go talk to my boss about a potential raise. So I went to my supervisor and I laid out my reasoning for why I thought I deserved a raise. And his response was honestly pretty shocking to me. He said, if you go out and you get an offer from another company for the hourly pay that you feel you're worth, then we can talk. I was pretty surprised by his answer. On one hand, I didn't want to waste another company's time by interviewing just for an offer. But on the other hand, I was trying to do what I can to provide for my family. So I ended up going to interview with another company. I nailed the interview and I got the offer for the pay I wanted. The only downside to it was the shop wasn't quite on the level of the shop I was currently at in terms of technology or machinery. And it didn't offer me as many learning and growth opportunities. So to be honest, I didn't really want the job. I just needed the offer to bring to my boss. I brought the offer to my supervisor and I told him I'd like a raise to the pay they were offering. And he still said no. At this point, I'm pretty frustrated. I felt like I was putting in the time to learn and grow, and my boss didn't want to acknowledge it. So I told him I was going to leave and take the other job, hoping that it would change his mind. He said, I don't want you to leave, but I'm not going to give you a raise. And I remember going home that night, I was pretty frustrated and disappointed. I thought about it all night, and I came to the realization that even though I was frustrated with my supervisor, Swallowing my pride and staying at my current job that was giving me opportunities to learn new things was going to benefit me more in the long run. I could have taken the job that pays me a little more, but it was going to hinder my learning and it was a step backwards in terms of growth. To me, the few extra dollars an hour wasn't worth sacrificing the learning opportunities. So I decided to turn down the offer and stay at my current job. My bills were getting paid, my family was still being taken care of, so I sacrificed more pay in the short term to continue to learn as much as possible. Six months later, my supervisor got fired by the owner, and I was given a raise and moved into a mold making apprenticeship where I learned wire and sink EDM, surface grinding, hard milling, and more. What I took away from this experience was that learning opportunities are the most valuable thing to a young machinist. It's easy to get wrapped up in what you're making hourly, but learning as much as you can early on both at your job and at home in your free time is priceless. If you do that, the pay will follow. If you put the time in and trust yourself and your ability to learn, it will set the foundation for a great career, which will allow you to provide for your family throughout your life, and you really can't put a price on that.